Hey everybody, it's Vanessa from AWM. I hope you are having a great Monday and um, you know you had an even better weekend. It's finally springtime and I'm so excited. Um, it's, well, almost my favorite time of the year. I prefer hot weather, um, but ironically I'm up in the Northwest in Seattle. So thankfully it was a sunny day today and it was just beautiful. Um, so with that, um, I have been MIA the, well not the past couple of weeks, but a couple of weeks ago I was MIA. Um, I was out of the office for several days due to family stuff, and as you guys know, family comes first. So if I took a little bit longer than usual to respond to your emails, I do apologize about that. Um, but I should be all caught up by this point, and if for any reason maybe your email somehow slipped through the cracks, um, I really do apologize about that, but hit me back and I will be sure to address whatever it was ASAP. So with that being said, I wanted to press out a brand new video for you guys since it's been a couple of weeks. My original goal was to do one video per week, but um, basically last week I spent the majority of um, catching up with everything that I had missed the week and the weekend prior. So lots of emails to get through, but I am, like I said, all caught up now, so I think I should be good. Um, that being said, I wanted to do a video about one of probably the most popular questions that I get asked by new models as well as current models, and that is about gold shows. Um, as you guys know, Gold Shows, or maybe you don't know, I don't know, um, Gold Shows was released, uh, I believe it was back in late summer of 2011, and, um, you know, at that time it was in the beta feature, it was in beta mode, um, but so many performers wanted it, and basically I think I spent, like, oh, who knows how many hours per day. I just remember just being exhausted because, um, you know, going through all of these, like, gold show eligibility verifications. Um, technically, that's not my role, but somehow I kind of, like, segued into that. So since then, I've just kind of been doing it um, mainly for the performers that I work with directly. I do get some stray requests every now and again from performers that I've never previously worked with. Um, but usually it, it is done through a separate division at Streamate. They do all of the verifications. Um, it's just something that I do personally for the performers that I work with. Um, and it's a really great feature, which is why I guess so many models want it. Some models, um, you know, they don't really care for it, or they just don't really like the feature that much, and to each their own. Everyone is entitled to their opinion and their own way of making money on Streamate, and, um, you know, it's not required that you run gold shows if you actually have the feature. It's an optional thing, but a lot of performers like it because it's just a great way to kind of change things up a little bit and make your shows a little bit interesting. Okay, so gold shows. What are they and how do they work? This is the part that I hope I don't confuse you but um, hopefully I elaborate it enough so that you at least get a better idea of how it works. <laughs> okay, so Gold Shows, as I said, is an exclusive feature that you will first need to meet the criteria for, that you will first need to qualify for in order for it to actually be enabled on your profile. It is an alternate way for you to do performances on Streamate and make money versus the traditional pay per minute, um, you know, paid chat setup. So basically what Gold Shows is, is, um, well, okay, I, hang on a second. In order for me to explain this to you, I'm going to divide it into two separate phases, okay? Phase one is the Gold Show countdown. Phase two is the actual Gold Show itself where you will be doing the performing. You do no performing whatsoever in the first phase, which is the countdown, and you do all of the performing in the second phase, which is the actual gold show. Okay, so in this first phase, as we're calling it, is phase one, which is the countdown phase of your gold show. Um, basically, any rules that you apply to regular free chat will apply to this phase as well. In other words, there is no sexually explicit stuff that is allowed 
um, in this phase and there are also there's also no below the belt nudity so these are just good things to keep in mind whenever you are in phase one as we're calling it of gold shows um, I say this because I have seen some performers get in trouble with streammate model support because a lot of the time what happens is you know you're very close to hitting your goal and you know the timer is about to run out and they see that they only need maybe like a few more um, contributions or whatever towards reaching their actual goal amount so some performers will actually start undressing or you know getting a little bit too risque um, before the actual gold show starts so you just want to make sure like I said that you apply those same rules. I'm such a stickler. I mean, I sound like such a stickler sometimes, but really, I mean, these are really good things to keep in mind, seriously, if you want to avoid any potential um, suspensions, especially on your account, or any warnings, okay? Just because it's no fun. I mean, um, I think the minimum suspension that you can get is one day. I have seen up to even three days. Not necessarily for incidences like these, but just general incidences with um, you know performers breaking the rules, especially if you keep breaking the same rules. So I stress this because just in case you're tempted to you know jump the gun a little bit before your gold show, just keep it clean. Okay. All right. So we got that out of the way, but. Um, how exactly do gold shows work? Well, first of all, you will want to configure the parameters of your gold show. So if you make sure that you are in party chat mode, then you will see that there is a gold icon within your Streammate chat box. So if you click on the icon, then you will see that there are a number of things that you will first need to set, like settings for your gold show, um, in this little box, okay? And then the settings, the different settings are, first of all, your actual gold show goal amount that you would like to reach in order for you to go forward with the gold show. There is also a timer and you can set the amount of time that will count down for you to actually reach your goal amount in order to do the gold show. Um, there is also a minimum contribution per customer so basically this will be the minimum amount that each customer will need to pay in order to be able to watch your gold show and finally there is the um the amount of time that you will be performing within this gold show so the duration of your show if you will and finally also there are the actual details of your show um, the good thing about gold shows is that you can set you can set the specifics for this actual show. So instead of taking like a million requests by all of the customers that will be in your gold show um, show, then you will be able to set ahead of time like the theme of your gold show. So say for instance you want to do like I don't know like two different toys like Hitachi and like end it with like finger play or, or and and like I don't know like body oil massage I don't know just <laughs> really anything you want to do um, they're themed very specifically so just be sure to not be like too generalized about your show like don't just say oh I'll be doing like whatever in this gold show anything you want like then it's like it's kind of pointless I mean not completely pointless but it, you just kind of want to differentiate it from just like a standard per minute show like a group show where you, you're getting a ton of requests okay it just also makes it a little bit more appealing to customers who are looking around at the different gold shows too all right so once you have set all of the parameters of your gold show then you'll be ready to start the countdown towards your actual show so at this point, we're in full-blown phase one, okay? Um, AKA, it's kind of still the same thing as free chat. In other words, you are not doing any performing at this point. You are just um, counting down towards your gold show. So if a customer um, is on the site and they see your profile, they will see that you will have a gold show banner, which indicates, ta-da, that you're doing a gold show. 
So if they click on your profile, they will be able to see all of the settings that you had just configured. They will be able to see um, you know, the minimum buy-in amount, the duration of your show, the theme of your show, um, how long um, they have left to contribute towards your actual goal, show goal amount, as well as how far along you are in actually reaching your goal. Um, so at any point in time during the countdown, they can contribute your suggested buy-in um, and they can actually contribute more if they want to. So from there, a number of things can happen. Um, there are different scenarios, really. The first scenario is that you hit your gold show goal amount. Obviously, then you will want to go into continue on with the gold show performance, okay? The second scenario is that you don't hit your gold show goal amount, but it's just enough money for you to go ahead that you're satisfied with, and you can go forward with the show regardless of the fact that you did not hit your goal amount. So say for instance your gold show goal amount was $300 but you earned $275. If you decide that eh, this is good enough for you and you know even though I was a little bit off of my actual gold show goal amount I'd still like to go forward with the gold show then you can do that. Okay. However the last scenario is that you don't hit your gold show goal amount um, and you know it's just not enough money you decide no you know the amount contributed thus far does not meet my standards so say for instance you had a three hundred dollar goal but you only got like seventy five dollars worth of contributions obviously you will not want to take this um, as like a sufficient amount for a gold show and you you can cancel the gold show so once you cancel a gold show what will happen is that any customer that had originally made a contribution towards your gold show goal amount will automatically be refunded those um, that contribution amount whatever they had contributed okay so if they pitched in five dollars towards your gold show um, then they will be refunded five dollars okay so once you have wrapped up the actual gold show performance and you would like to check your earnings you can go ahead and do so under the earnings tab um, actually it's under the my reports tab and then the earnings option under the my reports tab boom um, from there you will be able to see um, like itemized each customer that was in your gold show just then as well as their contribution towards your gold show and finally your earnings that you had made from each of those contributions um, so it will be clearly noted as being a gold show, so it will help you d differentiate between that and also your regular paid shows. So the next part of this discussion is pertaining to the actual criteria that you will first need to meet in order for gold shows to be enabled on your Streamate profile. What are the criteria? Um, the first criteria, and this is a big one, is the HD encoder. I feel like I'm always like hammering performers over the head about the HD encoder. And I'm so sorry if I'm like, I sound like a broken record, but seriously, this is, I mean, it can only benefit you using the HD encoder so long as your equipment can handle it. I mean, if you're using a computer from like, I don't know, 2003, you know, and you just have really crappy internet, then more than likely the HD encoder um, probably will not jive very well with your setup. However, if you have um, decent computer equipment and you have a good internet connection, then I strongly advise any performer to go ahead and use this. Not only will it help, um, you know, give you preferred placement on Streamate, but it can also qualify you for this feature as well. Um, uh, and also it'll give your customers like a way better video than it would be if you were just using just like standard quality, okay? So um, to set up the HD encoder, you can actually find the step-by-step -step setup instructions. Um, whoa, hello. It's so hard. Does this look like extensions? Anyhow, because <laughs> they're not, okay? So you'll be able to set up your HD encoder by going to the settings tab. I'm sorry. Was it settings? Yeah, it's the settings tab of your Streamate account. And from there, you will be able to see the HD encoder setup instructions. 
if you just follow all of those instructions step by step, then you will be able to configure your HD encoder so that it is applied to your StreamMate profile. So whenever you go live, then you'll be live using the HD encoder. Um, I mean, there are like there's like one step that you will need to do every time you log into your StreamMate account in order to like reset it up. But otherwise, if you save your HD encoder settings, then you you know you won't have to like reconfigure it each time. It'll just be saved, and all you will need to do is just copy and paste a couple of quick codes into your encoder whenever you are live on StreamMate, and then bam, you know you're on the site using the HD encoder, and it's great. Okay, so um. So long as you are using the HD encoder whenever you are actually live on StreamMate, then um, we will be able to see that on the StreamMate end. Um, and if so long as everything is set up, then you know it will show up on our end as being successfully configured to your profile. The next thing that we're looking for whenever we are verifying you for gold shows is your stream quality. If it's up to par with our standards. Um, at this point, you know, it's just either you have it or you don't. Um, but what I can say is that if you are using a wireless internet connection, um, I strongly advise that you hardwire your computer directly to your modem. I know, again, like if you worked with me before and you asked about gold shows and you're watching this video right now, then you'll know like how annoying I am about this because, but it's true, like if you hardwire your computer directly to your modem, it will generate a more steady, a stronger stream quality versus just using straight wireless. If for instance we were to enable you for gold shows and you are using a wireless internet connection that there is a chance that it could the connection could be dropped uh, just because there is a very high volume that is entailed whenever you are running gold shows. So we just want to make sure that the stream quality is strong and you know it will be able to handle um, the large volumes that are entailed whenever you are running a gold show on your profile because we don't want it to you know drop in the middle of a performance for instance because you won't be paid that way so we want to make sure that ahead of time that you know your stream quality is up to par another thing that you can do in order to um, enhance your stream quality is to make sure that you are not using, um, you know, like you don't have multiple windows open, you're not running multiple programs at the same time that you are live on StreamMate and also using the HD encoder. Um, multiple tabs will also hinder your stream quality. All of these things. I mean, so especially like music players, if you have like iTunes on your computer or something like that, do not use it. Like use something else or maybe even Pandora. What you can do is, um, if you're like a PC user, like I am, I don't know, I'm not really well versed on Macs, but if you're a PC user, you can do like Control Alt Delete, and you can actually see like what the CPU is and also the different programs, like how much memory they're taking up um, by just by running them. So obviously, the things that require more memory in order to run, then you know you will want to X out of those whenever you are live on streaming. Okay, so the final criteria that we are looking for whenever we are verifying you for gold shows is your ratings, um, your profile ratings. Basically, any new um, StreamMate performer will start off with a four star rating, and from there you can either climb upwards or go downwards with your ratings depending on the feedback that you obtain from your page shows, from your page show customers. If you're unfamiliar with how ratings work, basically what happens whenever a customer exits a paid chat session is that they are automatically prompted by StreamMate to rate your show. So they can leave you a one star up to a five star rating. And this is totally up to them. Um, obviously you wanna go for five stars every time. So what you can do is encourage five star feedback or at least just positive feedback upon entering a paid chat session with your customers. Um, I say I, and I stress um, for models to encourage positive feedback upon entering a paid chat session solely because of the fact that any of your customers can exit your paid chat session whenever they want to. So this could be completely without warning. And if you don't prompt them ahead of time to leave you um, positive feedback, 
then they may very well not do it um, and you know just exit with haste and you know that's a missed opportunity right there to obtain feedback so just be sure even I've seen like in models profiles like or their heading whenever or their headline sorry whenever they are actually in free chat they'll say you know please leave me five uh, or like positive feedback for my paid shows or something like that it is much appreciated um, those kinds of things you know so and a lot of customers are especially like regular customers they are more than happy to do it so um, it's it's a good practice um, especially to make sure that your ratings always go up and never down so that's the final criteria that we're looking for and you will want to have at least a four and a half star profile rating in order to qualify for gold shows I believe if you're a brand new model it takes somewhere along the lines of like I think it's like six ish um, five star ratings from your paid shows um, in order for your your actual profile rating to climb up to a four and a half stars so just keep that in mind so it's not really that far-fetched in order to have gold shows it's just a matter of working to make sure that you do meet all of the, cr the criteria um, if you guys have any questions about any of the criteria that I previously mentioned or if I was just absolutely awful with um, explaining what gold shows are or how they work then feel free to let me know too um, I know it's like a lot of information to take in, but you know, really what a great, a great thing that you can do is just see firsthand how gold shows work and go directly to Streamy and click on any of the profiles that have the gold show banner on them. And you will be able to see, especially the girls like on page one, um, you will be able to see like, you know, how, how it works and you know, how quickly kind of everything moves along. Also, depending on the amount of time, I guess, they allotted for the actual countdown. But, you know, just watch a few gold shows and you'll be able to see exactly how it works. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up and I will be happy to help you. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. And everyone, happy spring. Have a great week.